Hey, what's up everyone? It's Jim Labuda here once again. Today we're going to take a look at the golf swing of Australian golfer Min Woo Lee. He made a run in the Players Championship this past weekend, couldn't close it out. He does have two victories on the European Tour, last one being at the Scottish Open. And obviously we all know his sister well, Min Ji Lee, the defending U.S. Women's Open champion. So, Min Woo Lee is known as a very, very strong player, pound for pound. He's probably one of the longest hitters in the game. Let's take a look and see what he does and why he hits the golf ball so long. Looking at his setup position here, you can see how he's got his knees directly over his, the balls of his feet, ankles directly over his hips, perfect alignment. He's in an awesome setup position here. What I do want you guys to notice is as he starts to take the golf club away, let's look and see the only thing that moves in the beginning part of the swing is his upper body. Look how that lower body just stays real, real still. Awesome move here. As he gets to the club moving further in the backswing, I love this position right here where his right arm and the forearm or the shaft of this club, the right forearm and the shaft are really matching here. Too many times we see people that are either getting too upright here, they're trying to get the club around them. So this is an awesome position here to copy. But really, let's look at the key right now to Min Woo Lee's distance and power, and that's gonna come from the top of his swing. There's two keys up here that I wanna point out. Number one is look how this right forearm, again, perpendicular to the ground here. Awesome position, that gives him plenty of width here in his swing. And that's one of the keys I wanna point out here is that if you guys are looking for width in your swing, too many times we see this forearm where it's at a position like this, and those hands are getting closer to your head. The further away you can get those hands from your head, the more width you're gonna create in the golf swing. Second thing I wanna be able to point out here is his transition. Watch what happens here as he starts moving his hips down in the swing. He shifts that weight to the left side and starts opening those hips and those hands just drop down naturally. He's not forcing those hands down, but he's really using his lower body. He's got a lower body synced up great and this really here is like perfect synchronization in his golf swing. I love the way this is sequenced. As he starts moving down in the downswing again, shells the club out amazingly here. Another great checkpoint when that left arm is parallel to the ground, let's make sure the shaft of that club is below your right shoulder as it is here. Really, really good move. And you can see that as he gets an impact here, hips are open here. Left hip is starting to get a little bit higher than that right, so he's got a little bit hip tilt, which is good. Head's looking down at the ball, but if you pay attention again to that right foot, I love this position, how that's just starting to come off the ground. So again, if you're looking to copy some of Min Woo Lee's power moves, first thing I want you to do is get here. Let's make sure we maintain width in the golf swing. Keep that left arm straight. Let's try to keep that right forearm a little bit more perpendicular to the ground. Keep that a little bit more pointed straight up. And then obviously we all know about sequencing in the swing. Let's start sequencing that downswing with the lower body first to help you get the club moving down on the correct path.